Hey guys, so in this video, I wanted to talk a little bit about the differences between Angular and React. So to start off with, Angular is a framework and React is a library. So what does that really mean for you? In Angular, since it's a framework, what that means is you're gonna have to write your code in a very specific way that Angular wants you to, because you're gonna end up compiling it down. And if you don't do it the way that Angular wants you to, you're gonna get errors and it will not compile. With React, you simply just import React and then you use the library. And all it essentially does is it takes all of the components that you create and put it inside of a single parent div container called root. Now, Angular provides a lot of things by default that React does not, and they're actually extremely convenient. So by default, there's a router, you can import a router in React, and actually a lot of the things in Angular that it comes with, you can actually find either third-party libraries or you can implement them yourself. Now, a lot of the things in Angular, you can actually import as third-party libraries when using React. The problem here is that you don't know who's maintaining those libraries necessarily. You can go and you can look at the developers that are working on it, but let's just say you you pull in 15 third-party libraries for your React project. Maybe six months down the line, three or four of them stopped supporting the library. And so now you are either gonna have to worry about security patches on your own, or you're going to have to find a different library. Now with Angular, all those things that are built in, they're going to be maintaining that for you. Now, you're still gonna probably wanna use third-party libraries with Angular, but from my experience, it's not gonna be nearly as many. So in Angular, by default, you're gonna be using TypeScript, which is a superset of JavaScript. It's pretty convenient to use, and actually, even if it doesn't come default with React, a lot of people still use it in React. Angular's learning curve ends up being a lot more complicated than React's. With Angular, you have to do a lot of specific framework things. And in React, you don't. And the things that, especially if you're a beginner, Angular can be extremely intimidating to start working in. So when do you use Angular over React and vice versa? The way that I say it is, if you're going to be building a extremely complex application that's going to be very large and enterprise, Angular is actually a really good option. This is because it handles a lot of stuff for you. And it's also, in my opinion, it kind of forces you to do things in a certain way, which means that the team can kind of be all on the same page. With React, you don't have to do everything in a specific way, and one person may be reaching directly into the DOM while another person might be using a library for that, and you kind of have to enforce those rules within your team. It's not necessarily going to be forced automatically. Another time that Angular is a really good choice is when you want to do something that's kind of complicated and you want to do it very quick. Since Angular handles a lot of stuff for you, it can be really easy and very fast to do these sorts of things in Angular while it might take a little bit longer in React. So when to use React? Well, React is really good for everything. It's not as good as Angular in a very small amount of cases, but you wanna pretty much use React, especially when you need to have the flexibility and you, you want to get up and started very quickly. Or maybe you're with a team that doesn't necessarily know how to use Angular, but they're familiar with JavaScript and you have to pick either Angular or React. React is the way to go because it's easier to learn and it's much faster to get started in. So overall, I personally use both. I tend to use Angular when I'm gonna be building a very large application and I use React when I wanna build something kind of small, but it's really just gonna come down to developer preference. And if you're in a team, like I said, if they don't already know Angular, you're probably gonna wanna use React because it's easier to pick up while Angular's learning curve can, can actually be quite large. Both have huge communities around them, so it's very easy to learn and pick up on things very quickly. There's tons of open source resources for both of these as well. So I hope that fills in some gaps for you guys. And if you liked this video, give me a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video.